G'day, welcome to Bootlosophy. If you haven't been here before, my name is Tech. Uh, I'd first like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land that I'm filming on, the Wajib people. Now, this is just a quick video on my initial impressions of the Caswell Lisbon service boot. <laughs> So um, casual bootmakers came into my radar when I saw the founder, Kevin Wilson, being interviewed by my mate uh, Dale on his channel at Aerosurfer LV on one of his real boot talks. Um, I'll leave a link to that video up there and probably in the description below. Um, it, Kevin struck me as being a really nice guy and I was quite interested in it. But the interesting thing is that immediately after that uh, video, I got a heck of a lot of uh, DMs on my Instagram account asking me if I was going to review uh, casual boots. And I do mean a lot of DMs. So after that, uh, that got me interested. And I contacted Kevin Wilson through uh, my Instagram account. Uh, I direct messaged him. And I asked him, would he be interested in sending me a pair of boots for review? And he very kindly agreed. So, uh, full disclosure, these are a free pair of boots for review, but there were no terms agreed. In fact, the, there was no discussion about what I could or couldn't say. So, this is going to be a pretty full bore on uh, pros and cons review of these boots, and I'm going to be totally honest about it. So, this boot is from Caswell Bootmakers Company, based in Washington, D.C., which I think you'll agree with me is not exactly seen as the bootmaking capital of the world. But Kevin Wilson, the founder, is based there. So he's obviously got a vision for making great boots. Um, there is a bit of checkered history with Caswell. I think Kevin started a Kickstarter campaign, which I don't think quite reached uh, the cap. Uh, he, he started in 2019, so guess what? 2020, COVID, huge uh, dent in his plans. Uh, the US factory that he was contracting went out of business. Uh, Toing and froing, he eventually found a factory in Spain to make these, and uh, these were produced uh, late last year. So, this is their um, plain toe service boot model, and in all aspects, it's what you would expect from a service boot. It's plain toe, it's Goodyear welted, uh, there are two quite large, quite generous quarters so that the lace facings meet uh, are quite closely in the middle. Uh, some people have said to me, oh no, uh, uh, some boots are too small for you, too big, judging by the lace facings, which let's face it, is total BS because it depends on the size of the quarters that are designed. Uh, there's a single piece backstay coming up the top. top. Uh, did I mention it was a six inch boot, as all service boots are? Uh, stacked uh, uh, leather heel. Uh, the stitching is actually pretty good. There's um, triple stitching at the quarters, double stitching at the uh, 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 heel counter, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven brass eyelets. They come with two pairs of uh, uh, laces, some extremely long leather laces, which I cut down, as well as uh, a thin cotton lace, which I found a bit too thin for this sort of style boot. Uh, it's, the sole is a Vibram Londra sole, if you watch my videos, you know Vibram is Italian. Uh, their Londra design is very similar to the UK company Ridgeway design, which is uh, often used by Viberg and uh, Parkhurst has used them in the past. I really like this sole because it's quite low profile, but it's also very grippy without um, those deep lugs that could pick up lots of gravel. Um, the uppers is a key factor in these boots. You, they also make them casual, make, also make them in smooth leathers and other leathers. Uh, but this is Charles F. Stead's Waxy Commander. And those of you who have watched my videos will know that um, I really do lean towards Waxy Commander or Wax Suede. Um, Bordon Colombia, all my boots, three of them from Bordon Colombia are in Wax Suede, but they're from an Italian tannery. Uh, I have a couple of Grant Stones. Uh, their brass boot in earth and their Edward boot, and I think called Waxy Tobacco, which is from the Charles F. Stead Waxy Commander series. This one's called Waxy Commander Snuff, and by that I take it to mean that under this very dark wax layer on top, 
uh, the base suede layer is a snuff colour, a very gingery sort of colour, which is going to show through rather nicely. I've worn this boot for half a day and look at the patina starting to show through. So, you know, I'm looking forward to this starting to wear and uh, uh, really showing through uh, in its patina. The inside is fully lined. Um, if there are any cons to be mentioned, the tongue is not gusseted. I'm a fan of a gusseted or a semi-gusseted tongue because I have a weird right foot or a weird uh, right footed step because if you have an ungusseted tongue, uh, I find that they tend to slip to one side on my right foot. I've worn this for about half a day, as I've said, but there's been no sign of tongue slippage because I think the leather on the tongue is quite thick and it's also lined. The uh, design of the boot is quite traditional. Uh, there's nothing you know, particularly fancy about it, but it's a nice put together package on a very nice, quite sleek almond shaped last. Looking at this and looking at uh, round toed lasts like the Parker 602 or the uh, Leo last from Grant Stone, you'd think this is quite squeezy, um, but I have no problems with it at all. Which leads me uh, to talk about sizing and comfort. Now, I measure an eight and a half D, uh, that's the width, in, uh, on a US Brannock device. And for most heritage style boots, particularly American boots, I have to size a half down. So measuring eight and a half D, I normally buy an 8D in American heritage boots. These are true to size. Uh, I, I emailed or uh, direct message Kevin and we worked out the sizing and he recommended, after I gave him a couple of uh, different boots I had in different sizes, he recommended going true to size at 8.5D and that was the right call. Uh, they fit really perfectly, no hot spots, no pinching, extremely comfortable on the uppers straight out of the box. There is a little heel slippage, and I think that's because it has quite a, a sort of up and down uh, uh, design to the, to the back. Um, often you find that if they have more of a cup, or as I said in my uh, Iron Rangers review, if they had Kim Kardashian's backside shape, uh, you tend to find that the heel doesn't slip as much because it sits in that cup. When this breaks in and this starts to soften and move backwards, that'll be fine. Uh, apart from that, there was no breaking required. As I said, it was comfortable right out of the box. I honestly, I can't feel it, but when your feet are in it, your arch is really well supported. This is one of the uh, best uh, arch supported boots that I have in my collection that certainly I felt uh, as soon as I opened the box, which is quite strange because it's no particular sort of design to it, like an like a olden boot, um, where you can say that's where it comes from. Now, talking about price, uh, these are listed at $339.95 US dollars on the website, uh, as are all of his uh, Lisbon boots. They also have a cap toe design jumper boot and a chucker boot, and all three models in different, uh, different uh, makeups of leather and so on. Um, I think at $339.95, call it $340, I think that's pretty much the sweet spot for this middle of the range uh, uh, service boot styles, you know, like they compete with uh, Grant Stones and Parkhursts and people in that middle range. And certainly in terms of quality, apart from a little gripe about that ungusseted tongue, um, uh, you, there's a little bit of a hinky two or three stitches there. Or it looks like the machine had to go back a couple of times. So in terms of quality, other than those tiny little things, I think my friend who, who direct messaged me was quite right. This is a pretty legit new uh, brand to look at. And uh, if you want to have a look at them, I'll, I'll put a link to the website in the description below. So that was my initial impressions of these Caswell Lisbon boots in suede, uh, waxy commander suede. Um, as you know, uh, what I do is I'll wear them for a few weeks or a few months, and I'll bring you a more in-depth review where I'll look at uh, the construction in detail, but I'll also look at the uh, boot maker in detail and I'll, I'll send a few questions to Kevin to ask him about um, where he got his uh, vision to start a boot making company and uh, as well the history of Caswell so far. Um, so other than that, uh, take a look at his website and don't forget, click the like button if you like this video and of course if you're not subscribed, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Until then, take care.
and I'll see you soon.